you if you're happy to do the asthma control test. Ruby, do you want to introduce yourself Hi, a bit yeah. to us? Um, my name's Ruby. I've been an asthmatic since um, childhood. And um, are you happy to do today the uh, control test to talk about to see if you're in control of the asthma or the asthma is in control of you? I am. Yeah. Okay, then let's check. During the past four weeks, how often did your asthma prevent you getting as much done at home or work? I don't think it's prevented me from doing anything. Nothing at all? No. Nothing at all. During the past four weeks, how often have you had shortness of breath? Possibly once or twice. In the whole month, you mean? Mm -hmm. How often did your asthma symptoms like breathing, coughing, chest tightness, shortness of breath wake you up at night or earlier never. than usual in the morning? That's never happened. Never happened. So, during the past four weeks, how often have you used your re reliever inhaler, which is the blue one? I would say two to three times a week. Two to three times a week. Is it that, that, that sort of... So every week you're using it around two to three. And why is, yeah. what's the reason for that? I mean, do you feel tightness? Um, yes, more so in the morning. Oh, okay, in the morning. Mm -hmm. So two to three times a week. Yeah, but this is usually during the summer period only. So you mean according to the weather? Like seasonal, yes. How would you rate your asthma control during the past four weeks? How do you say? Is it well controlled, not controlled, somewhat controlled? I would say well, well, yeah. You think it's well controlled, yeah? I do. Is try to add the scores up. Okay. And see how much you will score. So we've got 5, 5, 5, 15, and then 19, 20, 21, 22. So you scored a total of 22. Okay. So you are normally in that sort of category, which is you are on target. And... Your asthma appeared to have been reasonably well controlled during the past four weeks. However, it doesn't focus well. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, however, if you feel like you experience any other symptoms or you feel like your asthma is going, feeling the tightness, the shortness of breath, waking up in the morning or at night, mm -hmm. it's always better to come and have a chat with your doctor or with the pharmacist or with the practitioner nurse, mm -hmm. and then we can see what we can do if the medication need to be adjusted or the mm -hmm. technique and then we can go through how using your inhaler and then check your technique and then we make a recap to see how everything is going up together okay. are you happy with how what do you think about I am. The that's asthma? kind of what i expected yeah yeah oh, okay yeah. then thank mm -hmm. you very much for your time thank you Okay, so using the asthma control test is quite a useful way not only for us to be able to measure how well controlled a patient's asthma symptoms are, but also for the patient to realise what's good and what's, what's bad. And I certainly use it to encourage patients to understand that we should be aiming for total control with asthma symptoms. And that means not using their ventilator inhaler more than twice a week, uh, not waking at night with their, their symptoms, not being stopped doing any activities during the week, no night waking and no exacerbations or infections on their chest. Um, but when I'm assessing somebody with asthma, the first thing I usually do is just review the notes and make sure that the diagnosis seems very plausible. Have they got a history that fits with asthma? Are there risk factors such as family history or, or A to P? Um, or have they got other things that might be going on? Um, then I tend to review what their medication use has been like. Are they using their Ventolin more than perhaps three inhalers a year? In which case there's a sign that maybe that they're not as well controlled as they should be. Um, how, are they using their preventer inhaler regularly? And have they had any antibiotics or steroids in the, in the last year? Um, I then use the asthma control test to go through that with them and, and just try and tie it all together. Um, I talk to the patient about their, their, what triggers their asthma and what potential triggers they have in their life. And that usually leads quite nicely on to talking about smoking. And unfortunately, too many people with asthma still smoke, and it's an important thing that we can manage. Um, people who smoke who have asthma tend to need much more medication. They tend to be more uncontrolled, and they put themselves at risk of exacerbations and symptoms. I also tend to risk review and see if there's anything else that's triggering off their asthma. Have they got any rhinitis or allergies? Are they getting any gastric reflux? Are they overweight? Uh, and anything else that they can do to help manage the symptoms themselves. Next thing I tend to do is something that a lot of pharmacists do very well with as well, and that's actually checking inhaler use and inhaler technique. Do they understand when to use their inhalers? Are they using them correctly? 
Um, are there anything they can do to make, make them work any better? Are they using the spaces when they've been prescribed to them? And working through with the patient different options and medication can sometimes be useful as well. Because often different inhalers suit different patients at different times. It's important to recognise though that when we see patients, we see them for 10, 20, 30 minutes if you're lucky, but they're there for the rest of the year without anybody holding their hand and telling them what to do. So the patient needs instructions. And I always send patients away with a, a written management plan. I tend to go with the Aston UK one because it's one that's well recognised by people and it's easy to print up from their website. Um, I quite often send them away with asthma control tests as well because that means they can help to monitor their own condition and see whether they're getting symptoms and they're well controlled. Um, giving them a contact number so they can contact us if they're not well, knowing what to do in an emergency. Um, but also giving them details to the Asthma UK website is quite useful. Not only if they've got professionals on the phone line there to give patients support, but actually they can look at videos of how to use their inhalers and get support from the community there. <laughs>